airport, we could take you around to some of my favourite places here in my city of Sydney. City that I love. Uh, I love the architecture, the climate, I love the majesty of the South Pacific. I love its ego and its narcissism. That would produce as much of it plus for the same reasons. I love uh, the sense of home. I love everything. Saplan boom wa 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 saplan boom wa. Got that two dollars here. I got my swords. This one here is a um, sort of European medieval number. I was doing some live modeling. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure to do that. In fact, I was moved to tears while live modeling. I bought this weave recently. It's gorgeous. Looks like a sort of French or Germanic village in the wintertime. A sort of Michelangelo David pose. I have here my uh, Memento Mori calendar. Not sure if you've seen one of these before. This one's a sort of Civil War era blade. Oh, this is nice. Next to the bed here. With this beautiful piece here is one of my favorites in my home. Picture of my father's band, the Radiators. I like the framing, how his legs are cut off down here and there's all this depth of dead air up the top. Uh, and here I am in sort of a captain's thing and otherwise naked. Each black square represents a week of my life. And every Tuesday, I was born on a Tuesday, I fill in a little, another little black square, reminding me that I'm one week closer to death. Got a few more sort of pieces here. There's this one as well, I had a sort of tea towel on my head. And there's this beautiful family here. Looks like they had kids later in life, this couple, but good on them. Dave Omen? It's a good name, Dave Omen. Dave Jamon, French for ham. They're all really rusty. Uh, we got Michael and Bubbles here, King of Pop and his pet monkey. Uh, I can put any picture I want up in my own home. Can't tell me what to hang up on my living room wall. Have a little cafe that we like to go to around the corner. Thought it'd be nice for lunch. I'm ravenous. It's the beautiful neighborhood of Paddington. Look at this architecture. I think. We can all agree that Sydney's architecture is probably the fifth or sixth most beautiful in the world. There's a lot of uh, native fruits. This one here you can see has fallen from the tree above. Look at this. There's a little gallery just here. It has some of the worst art I've seen in the neighborhood. Again, just stop and marvel at the architecture. Fifth or sixth most beautiful architecture on the planet. Maybe the seventh. It's a shop over here called Yogi Beings. Uh, but then they seem to sell wooden ducks. My friend Steve lives in this house. And this here is my local cafe. It's called Omeo. It's a Greek cafe. I think Omeo in Greek means uh, to remain the same or, or similar. I'm not sure why they called the cafe that. How you doing, Harry? <laughs> Making a little um, uh, sort of guided tour of my favourite places of Sydney. Uh, this is first ones, obviously. We are. This is literally the first place. This is Harry here. Uh, he's going to look after us. Give me a second. Where do we begin? Originally a bedpan that now makes a fine salad bowl for my octopus orangeetti. I had a vision of a interdimensional beast, white chalk all over its face, no nose, big mouth, two little eyes, bald head, blood all around its mouth, and it was feasting on flesh. I felt its presence and its malevolence, and ever since then, that was almost two weeks ago, I've had awful diarrhea. That's fantastic. Very affordable, actually. I think ego is misunderstood. Everything in moderation, or not, let it fucking soar. Billy's good. He's got it in check. New one's out of control. You've seen me cry before. Many times. Yeah. You know, even just going to the gym, pumping iron, often I'd cry. You devoured the sandwich, Ewan. So, yep, 
my local cafe, a mayo, artisanal deli. It's very <laughs> fancy, you know, bourgeoisie, just the way I like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right now we're going to my favourite casual fine dining and a uh, place for an afternoon drink, Bar 83, on the 83rd level of Centrepoint Tower, to the heart of the city. Well, I think we're just going to go straight down Oxford Street, which is the gayest street in Sydney. Underage, coming out here, 17 years old, going to shows, just down Spectrum and, and hanging out at Q-Bar. Uh, Spectrum is where my first band sort of met and formed, uh, Mercy Arms and also the Valentinos. And speaking of which, in there with the peroxided hair is Pat Santamaria. He was the original bass player of the Valentinos. A uh, very dear friend of mine, I think we should go say hello. Yoo-hoo! Ah. This is Pat Santamaria. Chips. I'm giving these guys a tour of my favourite places in is Sydney. This is your Sydney? Is this the first place you came to? No. You've got two fucking things on the menu. I know. There's, there's, a, there's a burger restaurant in Bondi that Pat's referring to, Bondi Tony's, that does the... Los Valentino's burger. Yeah. How do you feel about being a fish burger? I think it's probably the more environmentally conscious. Yeah. I was going to say it was backhanded, but like, I would have preferred a beef burger. I mean, that says more about you, I think, than anything else. Yeah, probably. No, also, we had a, um, a cocktail named after us at establishment. It was a mocktail. Oh. Yeah. It's... I'm sold into something, you get a fucking fish get burger a... and a mocktail. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Right, In and out. Love ya. Okay, let's go. I thought we'd just get one quick drink down here, huh? Now, next up is a bar called Shady Pines. I've only been here once before. It's the next one. See, there you go. I wasn't lying. I don't know where this place is. So it's down here, isn't it? Do you guys know the place? After you. How you doing? Phenomenal. I dated a Dutch girl. She invited me to um, Capri in the south of Italy for a romantic getaway. She booked the whole thing, organised the whole thing. She'd left a night early. Uh, the next morning, last, I was saying goodbye to all the people that I'd sort of become friends with at the hotel. And this person came chasing me out and said, Kieran, Kieran, in broken English, you need to pay for the bill. Like, she hadn't paid for it. She'd booked this whole trip. And I got hit with, like, a 2,000 euro bill. Uh, <laughs> I got taken for a ride. I had a great time. <laughs> My father used to always say there's only two things in the world he can't tolerate. Racism, you know, bigotry, xenophobia, uh, any intolerance of any sort. And the second thing is the Dutch. <laughs> Should have listened to my old man. <coughs> Truth is, my father never said this. It was from Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, Bar 83 in the style of Austin Powers. Located on level three of Sydney Tower, 83 floors above the city CBD, Bar 83 is Sydney's highest bar. Going to get Enjoy high. bold specialty cocktails and bar food with a 260 degree view of Sydney's glittering cityscape. Hi, good afternoon, Mandy speaking. Hi, Mandy, uh, this is Kieran speaking. I'm wondering. Is it possible, uh, do you guys have a uh, room for a group of six shortly? You mean now? Yeah, pretty much now. Six people, let me see, today is 4.45. Yeah, I can have a um, five o'clock. Yep, that's, that's great. There's a great song, uh, Tommy Leonetti. My city of Sydney, I miss the warmth of you. I miss the heart of your people, that little church steeple in Woolloomooloo. My city of Sydney, I miss your glow at dawn. I might have taken some artistic license with the lyrics there, but it's something like that. It's a beautiful song. I mean, check out this sunset, huh? Look at those beautiful women, older women. Sydney FC. Look at that glowing in the, in the Sydney sunset. Sort of my one criticism of Bar 83 is, is the music's pretty wacky uh, or downright abhorrent. What's this one? That's Tame Impala. There you go. So now I quite like this view here. Get a little shot down there 
Get a scale of how high we are. We've got the flight path, we've got Botany Bay down there. Look at how close Botany Bay is. Isn't that bizarre? How close that is. Can't believe that. Mm. Well, let's look west first. Par is that Parramatta there or is it down there? And look at those high rises far in the distance there. Is that Parramatta? Nobody knows where Parramatta is. That's too far. Hang on, let's follow Parramatta Road. Where would we go? Yeah, it's got to be the river. I always loved going over the Anzac Bridge as a child, coming from the west where I grew up, coming towards the city. You get this great view of the city with the sun behind it in the morning. Anyway, we'll go to the north here. We'll get a beautiful view of, uh, look at that. It's really Chatswood there, the glory of Chatswood. It's making a late play. And St. Leonard's too. Let's not forget St. Leonard's really booming up over here. Spectacular stuff. Let's come around to the eastern front. I mean, you've got to get the Harbour Bridge over here. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Excellent, phenomenal. Look at this, beautiful St. Mary's Cathedral, the House of God. House of God right here in Sydney, Australia. King's Cross, former red light district, now turned into sort of gyms and, and uh, there's a KFC there now maybe. Um, but once, once a very interesting place. A few remnants remain, admittedly. Where I first moved out of home to 18 years old, straight to the cross. Got my first ever tattoo. KX for King's Cross. Myself, my girlfriend at the time, and a, and a young uh, lesbian couple got the KX tattoos. We were inseparable. Some few islands here, look at Shark Island. That's the first one, I think, Shark Island. Not sure of the second one. I've always wanted to canoe out to those islands. Uh, maybe tomorrow. In fact, there's a bunch of interesting islands in Sydney Harbour. If you're interested in them, Go find out, yeah? Go find out for yourself. Centre Point Tower, my name's Kieran. Thank you very much for coming with me. Watch yourself, some tiny little burgers are coming out. I have a unconditional love for Sydney, even when it breaks my heart. But like any significant relationship that is bound to happen more than a few times. And it's a very beautiful city. It's easy to fall in love with. You know, admittedly, I, I love Sydney for its beauty. Sydney loves Sydney for its beauty too. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like a woman. Yeah, I've lived overseas for years, only came back to Sydney last year. Uh, I feel like I'm flooded with vague, hazy memories from my life. Speaking of memories, here's the Downing Centre, where I had my day in court.